Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon. If you have wondered how to use cheats for the PC SX2 PlayStation 2 emulator, I am here to help you out. This video will teach you what a patch file is for the PC SX2 PlayStation 2 emulator, how to install and edit a patch file, and how to enable its use within the emulator. The footage here is from PC SX2 version 1.6.0, and the North American version of Monster Rancher 4, but the basic steps can be repeated for any game. By the way, even though the file type is spelled like this, it is pronounced patch. Try not to mix up a PNACH file with an actual patch for the emulator. The PNACH files are used only for cheats within games, and can be used regardless of what version of PCSX2 you're working with. A patch file is a small file that can be opened in a text editor, such as Notepad or WordPad. It contains cheats for one specific game, with those cheats taking the form of hexadecimal codes and a little other coding. The code syntax will look familiar with anyone who has ever used Game Genie, Game Shark, Pro Action Replay, or any other similar device. I'll show you exactly what a patch file will look like in a moment. You can generally find patch files for your chosen game with a quick Google search. Simply type the name of your game followed by patch, spelled P-N-A-C-H of course. I usually prefer gamehacking.org because you can select which cheats you want and download a custom-made patch file within a few seconds, but you can also find complete patch files on other websites. That said, gamehacking.org's cheat list might be incomplete. The specific cheat that I am asked about often for Monster Rancher 4 is not on the gamehacking website, and I found my patch file elsewhere. If you specifically want the patch file for the Monster Rancher 4 cheat, where you have all the monster breeds in your book, I provide that in my Discord. A link to join my Discord is in the video description, though you can find the patch file elsewhere. Patch files must be placed in the Cheats subfolder of PCSX2. Generally when they're downloaded, they aren't in zip or RAR files, so they can be placed directly into the appropriate directory. If you have already run PCSX2 at least once, it has probably made a cheats folder, but you can create one yourself if you need to. The default should be good enough, but if you really want to, you can change the cheats directory within PCSX2. Select Config in the menu bar, then Plug in BIOS Selector, then Folders on the left side. Note that PCSX2 requires a specific name for the patch file. I'm going to oversimplify here for the sake of brevity, but every game and every version of a game's same title has a unique hexadecimal code called a CRC. The patch file must match the CRC of the game you are using. The North American version of Monster Rancher 4 has a CRC 0EF3697B, so the patch file must be named 0EF3697B.patch. Please note that if you use the website I mentioned earlier, gamehacking.org, it does not properly rename the patch files, so you'll need to do that yourself. You can find the CRC of your emulated game from within PCSX2 with a few simple steps. First, before running the game, open the emulator console by clicking MISC in the menu bar, followed by Show Console. Next, run your game, but be sure to use Boot ISO Fast instead of Boot ISO Full. As soon as the game loads, the title bar of the console will update and show the CRC in the second set of brackets. Again, you can see here that I'm using the North American version of Monster Rancher 4, and the CRC is 0EF3697B.
remember that patch files must have specific names. If you're skipping around the video, please see the previous section, what is a CRC, to name your file correctly. Place your correctly named patch file in the cheats directory once you have it downloaded. You can open a patch file in a simple text editor, such as Notepad or WordPad. I'll be using Notepad here. Your patch file will look something like this one for Monster Rancher 4. Most patch files are organized well like this one. Any single cheat is described with text after double slashes, while the code itself will be directly below. The numbers you will want to change here are directly after the phrase patch equals. When the code is patch equals zero, then the cheat will be ignored by the emulator. When the phrase is patch equals one, then the cheat will be activated. In the small snippet here, you can see, for example, that I have enabled the cheat called fill book with all monsters, but I have disabled the cheat called filled gadget shop. You can enable or disable codes however you want, but you'll want to change all of the lines of the code in a specific block to either patch equals zero or patch equals one. If you only change some of them, your game may exhibit some unpredictable behavior. Either way, if you make any edits at all, be sure to save your edits with a single control S. You may want to consider having a backup in case you made any changes to make sure they work. The final step to activate a patch file in PCSX2 is to click System in the menu bar, then click Enable Cheats. If this is off, any patch files will be ignored even if they're named correctly. Be aware that this setting is persistent after you close PCSX2, so you may want to double check it whenever you change games in case there are some games you want to cheat with and some you don't. Also, be aware that some cheats work differently for some games. For example, some cheats may require new games to be started. Others may work for save files already in progress. For the Monster Rancher 4 All Monsters in the Book cheat, it will work even with a saved game in progress. Every game is different, however. Help for specific games is beyond the scope of this video, but the emulation community is extremely active and will generally be able to answer very specific questions regarding certain games with certain cheats. Hopefully that video helped you out. My name is Pyrofalcon and I've been a Let's Player on YouTube for over a decade. Check out my stuff at youtube.com slash pyrofalcon, hit the likes and the subscribes and all that since it helps me out, and check out the links in the video description for my Discord server and other ways to support the channel. I will hopefully see you again soon for another video.